Good evening. Today's tutorial is about Zoho Notebook. This will be a brief tutorial explaining some of what Zoho Notebook does. So one thing that we like about Zoho Notebook um, compared to something like Google Docs is that Zoho Notebook does exactly that. It lets you create a notebook for a course, much like a portfolio for a class that you're taking at the university. So I'm just going to go through a couple brief things about this uh, notebook and give you some ideas of how to get started. First thing that you're going to do after creating a free account at Zoho.com or more specifically notebook.zoho.com is go to the top left and it will allow you to create a new notebook. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do after you create the notebook, and I have already created one here, is to rename it. Typically, if it's for a course and the instructor is going to want you to share it with him or her or your classmates to peer edit, you're going to, you're going to include your name and probably a section ID number. So go ahead and rename that. Then you're going to add pages. There's four different sorts of pages to add. A blank page would add a page where you can embed things like audio and video. Uh, I find it in ways limiting because, for example, if you want to include text on that page, you need to put it inside of a text box rather than writing intuitively right into the page. And speaking of that, you have here a writer page. The writer page is a document processing page. If you're going to have a lot of text, you're writing a paper, or you're doing homework deadlines, you're going to create writer pages for those things. The one above the writer page is the spreadsheet program. And then you can add web pages that are directly embedded inside of your notebook, which is very good if you need to go to certain websites as part of the course, or there's the online textbook, for example, as part of the course. All of that will be embedded right inside a Zoho notebook. You never need to leave this interface. Let's go ahead and make a writer page and take a look at what this does. First thing I'm going to do is create a name for that page. I'm going to call this one Introduction. A lot of online courses where the students don't see each other, it's nice to have some sort of introduction in your notebook. Maybe a picture of yourself. Maybe include a picture of you and a pet or some family members. And then a short biography. I'm just going to add a little bit of text here. And you can see there's text editing capabilities above, much like uh, Microsoft or OpenOffice. So I could add text. I could continue below. Um, but let me just point out a couple more things here. To your right side, you will see the tabs for the various pages you have open. It could be a spreadsheet page. It could be a web page embedded. It could be a blank page, or it could be a write page. You can change these names at any time. I have a blank page here. If you need to delete a page, you go to Delete Page. Do not delete the whole book. And that will make that page go away. And then I'll tell you at the bottom right corner that's been deleted. Uh, there's scroll bars. So if you want to scroll up and down, this takes you to an area below your actual page where you can embed other information. And you can also use a scroll bar at the bottom to scroll side to side. Also at the bottom, you'll see there's a tab here for comments that you can include on the page. If you're in a composition course and you have a draft of an essay that your instructor requires to have comments on. Other users that you've shared this notebook with can use that to comment. You can also chat with people who are viewing the page, which is very nice. So let me go ahead and show you how to share one of these notebooks, which is what you would be required to do if you were in an instruction setting. You go ahead and click on Share. Remember, I'm sharing the entire book, not just the page. And let me just go ahead and and share it to a colleague of mine. You can add a custom message if you want. I'm not going to bother here. Read only means they can only read the information. Read write, on, read write means that they can also edit it. So if you're sharing with an instructor, you're definitely going to want to do read write. So then I click on share. It adds them as a person who shares this in read write mode. If I need to delete somebody later, I click on the X. And then don't forget to click on Done. Okay, if you take a look with me down the left side here, uh, you will see that you can add text. 
Um, inside a writer page, you can just begin t typing, as I showed you earlier. Um, you can add images either on your computer or on a URL on a website like Flickr, Picasa, Photo Bucket, or one of your other favorites. You can also add audio. You record audio right from a built-in microphone or a microphone you have installed on the computer, which you can also do with a video. Both of these you can install in right in Zoho and save right there and upload it to their servers. Or for the video, you could have your video on another server, like on YouTube or on Google Video, and you can embed the video right on the page. You can add HTML, you can add uh, URLs, you can put in RSS feeds, other files, uh, you can put PDFs on here, which I like to do if I have articles for the students to read in the course, I'll add a PDF file. Okay, so down at the bottom here, left side, you'll see these are all the books that I have that I own, and here are the ones that I have shared with me. So these are a couple books that I have um, shared with me that other people own. So this is just a little bit about Zoho. It will get you started. And I really hope that you enjoy your experience with Zoho and you continue to build videos like this one so other people can learn from the work that you've done. If you ever want to take a look at any other information that I put together continuously for my uh, education courses or for my technology aspects of those courses, take a look at my website and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much.